Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So yesterday we did this Patreon exclusive. Will they ever know what really happened? It was a deep dive into uh, some of the things that are tough to talk about on YT. And a reason why our you know evolutionary was uh, literally demonized, demonetized, and stopped from ever moving forward uh, since 2019, right before the plague upon the land. And I just wanted to share with you guys, because we were just going to check out uh, Christoph, uh, who is a Polish clairvoyant, uh, that I've taken to following what he's, what he's getting, as he was getting some information, which was really curious to me, because it wasn't what we've been getting, and I wanted to see his perspective more. He was recommended to us by one of our Polish friends, Peter, uh, who is a, a member of our Patreon group. And this is just pretty wild because uh, have you guys ever seen this? Have you ever seen this? Look at this, right? This, by the way, is not Christoph. This is Paul Wallace. <laughs> this is Paul Wallace. Look at the channel. Clear seeing 1.47 thousand subscribers. Not a big channel. His Polish channel has more, but they are trans. Um, well, they're basically putting close English closed captions so we could follow. You can see Putin European Front Part Two English closed captions. Polish clairvoyant Krzysztof Jankowski's predictions. Well, I was just listening to Paul Wallace um, before this. This is Fifth Kind TV, one million subscribers. If you don't know Fifth Kind TV and and you still think that, you know, the Bible is the inerrant word of the creator of this universe, then do check it out. Um, he is a pastor of 33 years um, and he has worked with Mauro Bellino, uh, who is a Vatican translator, a former Vatican translator, to just say what we always say and and reach uh, a lot of people and with the understanding that you know the bible is not what it was meant it's not what people take it for it is really anunnaki uh tales uh, basically so i just thought this was fascinating because i think what what happened here is there is some sort of glitch and to me it feels controller based uh, because everything we do is uh, is monitored and and followed again. We've always been monitored and followed. This is just what we um, have to deal with and have de dealt with. This is also um, why you know we we have moved a lot and and stayed on the move um, because it's it's dangerous to to speak uh, the truth like this. It's very very dangerous. And I just wanted to share that with you because um, craziness, you know, here they have Paul's tape on on Clear Seeing channel. It's superimposed, so it's just crazy. It is, it is. So, I mean, really, there's only, uh, I guess, two ways this could happen. It, it would have to be... Um, the Polish psychic put this up himself somehow, some magical way, or they are, they do have like, I, I, I picture like a little string attached to us. So when we go from one place to the next, right. they're tagging, tagging us and then pulling along what we are watching to the next thing. So somebody screwed up because I, I, I don't think the Polish psychic would do such a thing. He's, he's uh, a very, I like him. I think he's a good guy and I don't think he would do that. Yeah. And as you can see, this is that right here. It's not this. Um, and by the way, you know, we were contacted again by another uh, five-star general. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Just we might as well put that out there too. Because they are always trying to reach out to us and make like their uh, major military figures. It, it's, it's part of what the Illuminati do and the secret societies you know, that are following and tracking us all the time. And talk about following <clears throat> and tracking. Here's Dutch, uh, Dutch Sense. And look at this. Now, he, he's somebody that has spoken of that. And, and I actually 
I just saw a post where he said he was in his home in St. Louis. I thought he had moved from St. Louis. I, I thought he had left St. Louis um, because he's really close to the New Madrid and it is getting ready to go, in, in my opinion. So he says, dang, Key West, Florida, Naval Station, next rad radar bunch of stuff taking off all over the place leaving trails behind now they they can leave chaff maybe the chaff um military planes leave chaff maybe the chaff dispenses in this wavy look um this feels different though it felt different to cindy i i get the feeling too this is different um it, it feels a little otherworldly uh to us but what do you guys sense and feel on it Yes, very, very curious. I mean, it felt very individual, like these things had their own little individual uh, way that they're they're all going to go. So I don't know, it felt um, electrical or technology in nature. Yeah, I, um, you know, I, they're heading towards Cuba. It's weird. Um, hmm, interesting times. Absolutely. And I hope everybody is as prepared as possible for whatever can hit. Um, this is Chris, and he's up in uh, Portage. Uh, this is Michigan. You know, we've had tornadoes everywhere. These are gorgeous trees, beautiful front yard. And what happens is the tornado hit his yard. Incredible that he sustained very little damage to the structure. Maybe it was one super well-built house, but every single tree comes down. These beautiful, gorgeous trees every one of them gets ripped down what we're seeing now this is um you might call the hyperactive tornado season uh the amount of people that that are coming to the conclusion that this is not natural is is staggering and i'm watching comments as we're watching the awakening and this is hot springs arkansas and um you know here here you have another tornado outline in the back there it's just been insane what they're unleashing on us. And then they've given us the uh, point of view that we're going to have a hurricane season from hell. I think this is going to be a, a crazy, crazy summer in more ways than one. Um, you have this over here. Xi Jinping is in Belgrade, Yugoslavia, and he was bringing up the fact that the United States bombed belgrade yugoslavia if, if we forget that whole thing that happened remember yugoslavia yugoslavia doesn't exist anymore but we, we do have these smaller countries which can create more conflicts and and that's exactly why we have the smaller co countries when you look at why did they recreate israel why did they recreate ukraine why did they break yugoslavia up into smaller pieces all these are tools in the war that is is breaking out all around us they're key key pieces they broke them up decades ago or restored them decades ago for right now when they're going to unleash on the world that ww3 you know this is a case of a building that couldn't hold up and there were 70 people inside you want to bet that there's non-physical entities that are here protecting us all the time they are there really are uh, angelic beings i mean that building's gone 70 people were inside and nobody died um now other people did die in this uh, waverly nebraska <sighs> tornado one um, among hundreds and hundreds this this outbreak that's going on the only thing I'm taking heart in is the fact that I'm looking at comments and it just seems like the, the whole world to a high degree is, is waking up to the concept of geoengineering. And that's wonderful. And there's more channels popping up out of the blue all over the place talking about the reptilian overlords. That's wonderful too. Mm -hmm. It, it is good. It is good that this information is getting out there because once people understand that, you know, the, the, the supposed leaders that are, you know, holding their places right now, they're being controlled by other entities. And once we realize that there is something else 
picking up and shaking our humble humble home as we live together in humans and making us angry at each other, we can just stop for a minute and just stop fighting and look around and see what is causing the distress. What is putting us under so so much trauma? I, I mean, what what is causing this thing to make us argue and fuss with each other and really find the root of the problem and do something about it? Yeah, if you don't follow Jason Wilde, he does come up with some uh, interesting little tidbits. Uh, and yeah, Sumerian archaeology is fascinating. These figures you'll find in the Fertile Crescent area, you'll find in what was Sumeria and Acadia, but we find them in Latin America, exact same figures, just figments of people's imagination or beings that they saw on a regular basis. Uh, again, watch Paul Wallace, watch uh, The Fifth Kind, watch Mauro Bellino, um, watch, you know, Billy Carson. He's He's been speaking out about this too. Now, with every single one of them, there's things that we don't agree with. But on 90, 95% uh, of the time, we are in agreement with what they're trying to get across. Uh, this is Jay Anderson, uh, Project Unity. And this is showing, right? There's a UFO. Wait, wait, he's going to crash. Where to go? This is exactly what we saw out in the desert. Mm -hmm. It was something really quite amazing that we that we witnessed, and it, it's one of those things. It's like you look at it and you see it, and it registers, but it doesn't register, and, and then it's uh, then you realize, wait a minute, that was a really very large fighter jet just off the desert floor. Oh, and the other thing is, oh, there's no noise. And if you've ever heard a fighter jet, if it's, I don't know, 30 feet from your truck, you're going to hear it. You're going to hear it. It's probably going to blast your ears off. But it was silent. It was silent. And then when it took off, you're still in such shock. The darn thing, it just it blended right into the mountain. And, and I don't know. I, I know there is a reason for everything. There's a reason we witnessed that, whether somebody wanted us to see it or it was a complete fluke. doesn't matter. Uh, we're here to say that these things are very real. And the reality is our military works with non-human beings to govern humanity. This, this is the reality. So there are humans often on ships with reptilian beings and other humanoid beings that are not homo sapiens. And uh, as we've shared in the past, I mean, we've found our home uh, with doors open in the middle of the night. We found uh, warnings, you know, in the house, uh, things like NATO caliber bullets in the closet that we don't have NATO uh, we don't have guns that would fit that. So, you know, again, uh, they've they've done this to, to numerous people, anybody that's, that's, you know, exposing the system. But the thing is, now there's too many people to monitor uh, effectively on a one-to-one -one basis because so many people are waking up. Oh, okay, it must be just uh, intermittent pockets of, of extra cold air and just the right moisture. Uh, or his, you know, he's having the issue turning off the uh, chemtrails. Yeah. Yeah. You know, again, it, it's a great awakening that we're watching, guys. A great awakening. You know, and, and this is David Icke. And again, he's, he's, he's going at um, Elon every day. <laughs> every day he's going at Elon. Um, but also, you know, like this statement, w these people that were pushing, 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 Nothing's happened because the system that's in place, humans don't have authority to really make anything happen. You know, let let that really sink in. Let that really, really sink in. And again, uh, this is Paul Wallace talking about the non-human governors that literally harvest energy from human fear and getting into why uh, why do we have blood sacrifices in the first place? Well, because certain beings feed off of it. They literally feed off of it. Now, certain beings literally fed off of the sacrifices. And if you do go and you, and he, he has not just well read on the Bible, 
but he understands the Sumerian mythology, which we've spoken of too um, many, many times. The, the Sumerian deities, when they were in town, they were literally in their temples. That was their home. That was their home away from home. When they brought as a offering the first fruits of harvest or you know, say a lamb for sacrifice, they're the ones that got the first dinner plate at the barbecue. That simple. <laughs> you got to start asking questions, you know, and then and then you look at Adam and Eve had three sons and those three sons populated the whole earth. Uh, 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 you know, it's like, when do people stop and ask questions? When do you say like, hey, wait a minute and call something out? And are we still going to continue to accept the answer, oh, it's a divine mystery? I think um, we need to get above that. We need to grow beyond that. We are definitely expanding in this world. Let's not be afraid to ask questions. No, absolutely. So, you know, that's why you know, I'm trying to throw out their other channels uh, for that expansion because, you know, you might have woken up to the mainstream media always lies to you. You might re recognize you can't trust either political party. That's awesome. And we got to go and, and recognize every aspect of the way that they have been controlling our minds. It's, it's every single aspect of life that you can think of is the way that they do it. And this is one we put up on EE Arts, which uh, really this is the type of stuff that I absolutely love. And, and Cindy and I gobble up. The ultimate secret hidden in plain sight. Of course, everything goes up on Patreon. Yeah, I mean, the reality is we are so much more than what they have told us. And, and the guides have said, you know, right now is the time of miracles. You can't imagine probably what we're going to see in, in the coming times. But right now... As it is always darkest before dawn, here we are, it's May 8th now. You know, I, I do think May is going to be a, a month of uh, big events, just like April was uh, a month of building energies. And when's it all going to ba-boom? You know, it's going to ba-boom, but how big is that boom? How long does the uh, fire last after that explosion? That's all about how quickly we can awaken others. It is. It's, um, it's up to us now. As always, source bless and namaste. Namaste.